My name is Augie Bello. I am a 23-year-old saxophone player, saxophonist. That's a weird word. <laughs> Trust me, it'll get better. I need like five minutes and then it'll be totally normal. <laughs> So I went to the new school for jazz starting in 2016 for jazz performance. There wasn't really a definitive moment where I realized music was for me. It was kind of always ingrained in me and what the power of music could do. It was always something that I saw could bring people together and show emotion, which, which I always really loved. All of my lessons on piano were classical music and that really helped with technique and building a great foundation. And when I moved on to other instruments like clarinet, I was playing all classical music. Again, with the saxophone, I did play some classical saxophone and then slowly made the transition into jazz. As soon as the pandemic started to calm down, I went out to street perform. That was the only venue that was open was Washington Square Park. So I would street perform and I built some of my best friendships, my biggest fans through street performing. And it's nice to feel like an important part of the community. I think social media is really, really, really important for artists these days and allows you to distinguish yourself from not just a saxophone player, a vocalist. It's you are the person that they want for some things. So right now we're at Stitch Bar and Blues and I'm about to play a show with my friends Dark Sky Hustlers. So the artists who have had the biggest impact on me are Amy Winehouse, Alan Stone, Teddy Swims, which is awesome that I get to work with him. I guess one of my biggest accomplishments was going on a stadium tour with Teddy. We were opening for the Zac Brown Band and just playing for audiences like that, where I, I would say the pressure is off of you. Because if you're playing in a small club, you kind of have to prove yourself if you're playing for 40 people. If you're playing for 40,000 people, you can kind of go on that stage like, I'm on this stage because I've put all this work in. For me, I almost felt more confident going on that stage. So that's one of my biggest musical accomplishments. I feel like I can really connect with the Phoenix brand because, again, I feel that if your heart is within something and you're really pushing for it, it's going to do great, right? So the Phoenix brand represents sustainability and creating garments from recycled cotton and making sure that our footprint in the environment is less than other brands and making sure that you guys are working with artists to convey something that you really love and that you really care about. So I get to convey my story of this garment represents me and it represents the story. I just love the fact that you're pushing an artist forward and showing their story and making sure you're gonna do that in the best way for the environment possible. My newest release is called Queen No Crown. So with this song, the specifics are very particular to my situation, but I tried to write it in a way that it would be relatable. We've all seen that person that we used to be friends with or that we used to hang out with. And this is the story of even though you thought that you were my rock and the most important thing and you were gonna propel me forward. I've done it myself and I'm even better than I was before. And so the lyrics basically go, saw you in the park with a frown, thought you were a queen, where's your crown? Bring everyone down to the ground while I'm up, I'm the king of this town. Saw you in the park with the frown, thought you were a queen, where's your crown? Bring everyone down to the ground while I'm up, I'm the king of this town.